Hey guys, it's Jackie and welcome back to my vlog channel. I am back in San Diego. This is a Hotel Stay Pineapple, also known as Hotel Z, and I'm very excited. I've stayed here before, back in 2019, before the pandemic hit, when I used to live here. Michaela and Brittany came and visited me and I never put that vlog up because I was really sad leaving and I didn't want to like revisit the memories because I felt like I would miss it, but I'll sprinkle some of those older clips in here as long as I can find them, but um, yeah. Yeah, so it's the first big trip I've taken. Went from New York back to San Diego and we're working with Lost Lands Collections again. My friend Hade and Mare, I love doing shoots with them, so we have a couple planned out. And also, I just really wanted to show Tyler where I used to live, my favorite spots in La Jolla. And luckily, we have an awesome place to stay and this place is very affordable if you are looking to come to San Diego. I'm headed to the mall because Tyler did not pick up his laundry, so he needs a full new wardrobe for this trip. Trip, so he's getting a Cali makeover. Where is he? <laughs> we are current. Oh my god! <laughs> we are currently at my favorite mall. This is the UTC Westfield Mall in La Jolla. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I like that. Back at Veggie Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I always loved coming here. And we're headed to La Jolla Cove, which is one of my all-time favorite locations. It's so beautiful and there's like sea lions and the coast is very unique and stunning. So I'm really excited to see my friends there. I took Lauren when she visited um, San Diego when I used to live here and she loved it as well. So excited and as for hair this is my go-to I always use this bedhead curly pop wand back at my favorite spot what do you think Tyler it's unreal beautiful good my shot <laughs> whoa whoa that's a huge bird whoa. holy sure. crap Photographers are helping out. I think that other one just made a sound that sounded like Hade. Yeah, it does. Oh, that's like one of my happiest memories with you. <laughs> Looking very fall. <laughs> so pretty. We just explored a bit and we're gonna meet up tomorrow for photos, but we think me and Tyler are just gonna try to take a cute beach picture. I love being somewhere so familiar and I'm really excited for our shoot tomorrow as well. Not our shoot. Not Tyler's, <laughs> Tyler's not in it this time. I have my Pete's coffee. We're gonna catch the sunset. By the water, so I picked up this sweater at the little surf shop. La Jolla Shirt Company. You can spend $60 at our shirt shop.
Today we're shooting for Fiori and I'm really excited. Look at these beautiful two corsets that I'll be wearing. And I decided to design my hair in this very fun pigtail style. I thought this would be really cute for the fairy look and I'll do some little flowers in my hair, I think. But because we're doing two different looks, I thought I would like tie this up and then have like a hair piece because the other look is Marie Antoinette inspired. So I'm hoping this all works out, but so far, this is the hair look and the makeup, and uh, we'll see you at Boboa Park. Tyler got some macaroons, and we're just packing some products. Balboa Park and we're gonna shoot the fairy look first so I'm gonna change out of this and you'll see the dress. Yes. Got beautiful roses. Oh these are the little ones we were talking about. We're gonna put these in the hair. Oh those are perfect. Yeah. This amazing corset is called Victor's Garden by Susan, who's the designer for Fiori Couture. You guys will love her creative designs. They are so intricate and straight out of a fairy tale. And then for earrings, here's a close-up. These are by Jewelry Blossom and they're the Rosebud earrings. So Lost Lands Collections styled me in these beautiful pieces. I'll have the designers linked down below if you want to check them out. For the next shots, Hade and Marianne styled me in Hello Fairy wings and these glisten in the wind, in the wind, in the light. They are so pretty and I thought the big pigtail braids with volume up top worked really well for my hair to complete this whole look. <laughs> Hade, I just got that. So I just shot in this gorgeous outfit. I have these wings on, Tyler's in the background, and we're doing a Mary Antoinette look next. So I'm gonna change over to that massive updo that I made, but I love this location. This is like my fourth time here, and I just love coming back. So these are all from Fiori? Mm -hmm. Yes. Gorgeous. Okay, we're doing a parking lot change up. So I just put in this wig. And you can see that they're adding these gorgeous rose clips also from Fiori to help fill out the back section of the updo. For lips, I went with Max Retro Matte in Feel So Grand. This is a gorgeous red, I grabbed for it a lot. And I gotta hold the hair, making sure nothing kind of falls out of place before we get to the location. It was a little bit heavy, and to suit the Fiori Couture Belladonna Corset, we headed to the Rose Garden in Balboa Park. So here's a walkthrough. It's a stunning park with a bunch of museums, a beautiful botanical garden, and it's right next to the famous San Diego Zoo. Pretty rose garden. We're gonna what? Oh, exposed. Let me know in the comments which look is your favorite. Do you prefer the blue fairy look or the pink Mary Antoinette inspired shot? Look at these gorgeous shoes and look at like, I want to show just the detail. Thank you! You too! <laughs> Packing up the car. We're back. 
from the shoe. And we're going to Little Italy, but this is the robe that comes um, with Stay Pineapple. It's so fun. Also, my hair is freaking crazy, but I love this robe. How was your shoe? Oh, it was great. Best hey. pictures ever. rented a Tesla and we're headed to Laguna Beach. I don't know how to open this. Oh, fancy. Check it out. Here we are at the Pirate Tower in Laguna Beach. I'm wearing this dress by Vanessa who designs Creature Habits. I'll have everyone linked down below and I definitely struggle to take photos in sunlight. I do not like getting photographed in harsh light at all. Uh, it takes away like the makeup contour and I really only like to get photographed when I feel like my face is contoured. So that's my personal struggle for you. And for the final shoot, as the sun was going down, I shot with Elizabeth Elder, who is Emac Photo on Instagram. Beautiful dress from Firefly Path. Lots of amazing designers in this video, and it looks so stunning by the waves. The way it picks up in the sun, I felt like a mermaid goddess. And for the makeup, I switched it up to be a bit more iridescent, and I used Cookie Highlight from Benefit, which picked up really well. And I left my hair natural, since whenever I shoot by the beach, it always falls to this texture. And it's so funny because as I'm shooting, I'm not the most comfortable modeling. Like, I don't have a good sense of what it looks like from the photographer's end. So watching these clips back and seeing all the colors of the dress and the waves and the sunset together, it's so cool because me in the moment is just trying not to do something awkward with my hands or body. But I hope you guys have been enjoying this behind the scenes video so far. We're checking out of Hotel Stay Pineapple and we had some great night sleeps in this bed. It's super comfy and I love they have two duvets so you don't have to like fight over the covers and um, yeah, we had so much fun. I'm currently rocking the robe and it's just such a fun little unique hotel. I had a lot of these um, cookies that taste amazing and they do have bikes out front that you can use. So I think we're gonna go ride around San Diego before we have to catch our flight. And they used to have a yellow trolley that was so much fun and it would take you places, but um, because of COVID that's not running. So hopefully it does come back. And um, yeah, that's it for the vlog. If you guys wanna check out the finished photos, be sure to follow Lost Lands Collections on Instagram, as well as me and Emac Photo. There'll be some photos going up on there too. Um, and I have some life updates coming up. I am moving to Florida, so the next um, vlog you'll see will be kind of in preparation for that. Really excited, and I can get into why we're moving, where we're moving, and all of that. But anyways, until my next vlog, hope you guys are having a great week, and I'll see you next time.